Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will talk about how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is very important and easy to use. The quadratic formula lets us know what the values of x are. It takes the quadratic equation and turns it into this, the quadratic formula. It states x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. All you have to do then is plug in values for b, a, and c, and you get your solutions for x. Simple enough, so let's see some examples. Here's our first example. We have x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. We want to find what a, b, and c are first. Let's refer back to the form of a quadratic equation. Now we can compare the two and see what a, b, and c are. We see a is equal to 1 because we just have x squared. And we can see that b is equal to negative 1 because we have negative x. And c is equal to negative 6. Now let's take a look at the quadratic formula. What we will do next is plug in the values of a, b, and c into the quadratic formula and we will find out what x is. This simplifies to x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 2. We can simplify this even more to x equals 1 plus or minus 5 over 2. Now we can split this equation into two equations, x equals 1 plus 5 over 2 and x equals 1 minus 5 over 2. This simplifies to x equals 3 and x equals negative 2, our answer. Second example, we have 2x squared minus 4x minus 6 equals 0. We take a look at the form of a quadratic equation to see what the values of a, b, and c are. We can compare the two quadratic equations and see that a equals 2, b equals negative 4, and c equals negative 6. Now let's look at the quadratic formula. Since we know what a, b, and c are, we can plug these values into the formula to find out the value for x. This simplifies to x equals 4 plus or minus the square root of 64 over 4. We simplify even more to get x equals 4 plus or minus 8 over 4. Now we split this into two equations to solve for x. We simplify and get x equals 3 and x equals negative 1, our answer. Last example, we have negative 4x squared minus x equals negative 1. Let's take a look at the form of a quadratic equation to see what a, b, and c are. It's hard to figure out these values because when we compare the two quadratic equations, we can see that our problem is not in the right form. So we will rewrite it. We add 1 to each side of the equation to get rid of negative 1 on the right side. Now we can easily find what a, b, and c are. We see that a is equal to negative 4, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to 1. Now we take a look at the quadratic formula. Since we know what a, b, and c are, we can plug these values into the equation to find the value of x. This simplifies to x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 17 over negative 8. We now split this equation into 2 to solve for x. We simplify and get x equals negative 1 plus the square root of 17 over 8 and x equals the square root of 17 minus 1 over 8, our answer. The quadratic formula is used all the time, so it's so important to memorize and master how to use it. So for more help and practice, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the practice tab.